Hi everybody. Don't pay no mind to me. I just, it's been raining outside and I got wet and everything. So my hair looks like right now. Well, I've been hearing all about this chicken sandwich. I'm, I look like I'm a little crooked. I've got this phone holder, but it's not doing a very good job. You know, what do you get? What do you expect when you only pay five bucks for a phone holder, right? <laughs> well, anyway, I stopped by Popeyes. Yeah. And I got the classic chicken sandwich. And I got some mac and cheese. But I have a couple of other items that I wanted to really do a review with with you guys and show you what I thought about it. I picked them up recently. Um, but real quick, I need to get something on my belly. So let's try this chicken sandwich real fast, okay? Here we go. Oh, this looks good. Smells good. Oh, the bun smells good too. It looks like a Hawaiian bun or like a, it looks similar to the Hawaiian bun. Oh, it's got, all right, let me turn it around real quick to show y'all. I know y'all have seen this a million times probably with everybody on YouTube. They put a little extra mayonnaise on there for me. I guess they <coughs> figured I needed extra mayonnaise, which I love extra mayonnaise. And if they hadn't put enough on there, the next time I'd gone back, I would have asked for extra mayonnaise. So that's cool, right? All right. Let's try this sandwich. You want a bite? I got a lot of the crumbs on the outside, but it's good. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. I'm a southerner. So when it comes to fried chicken, <laughs> I can tell you if it's good or not. Mm. Oh, dropped a crumb. Got a little mayonnaise in my hair. Like I need that, right? Mmm. <laughs> that time I got a little bite of pickle with some of that chicken. See? Y'all probably seen this a million times. And I know a lot of, I've, I've seen a lot of reviews about it, and they, everybody's really raving about it. A couple of people I saw thought it was okay. I think this is good. I think it's perfectly seasoned. It has just enough salt on it. I keep looking down at myself, so I'm trying to get used to this, you know. Excuse me. I also I got the meal is what it did, and I also got me a small drink, Coca-Cola. They didn't have Pepsi, so I went ahead and got Coca-Cola. Now I don't mind drinking Coca-Cola. I just don't drink a lot of it. Same thing with Mountain Dew. Like Mountain Dew. I mean, it's not that I, I don't really like Mountain Dew, but I'll drink it. I mean, I don't mind it. It's okay. It's not the bad. It's my favorite. It's not one of my favorite drinks. But if it's all there is, I'll drink it. Or, I'll show you in a minute. Mmm. Okay, y'all. That is good. Like I was saying, it's got just the right amount of seasoning in it. Just the right amount of salt. It goes perfect with that pickle. Y'all did good, Popeye. You did real good. I gotta get one more bite. Oh. Okay. Now let's try this mac and cheese. Now I'm a mac and cheese girl. I'll let you know what I think about this. Alright, so I just opened it. Sorry about that. And here we go. Here's the mac and cheese. Okay, it looks good, don't it? It looks really good. Let me clear my palate here. So I can give you my honest opinion on this mac and cheese. Right away I can tell this is canned cheese. Let me tell you, I used to work in restaurants since I was a young teenager until about 12 years ago and I started doing my own business running my own home-based business and so anyway 
I know canned cheese when I smell it. So let's try it anyway. Let's see what it tastes like. Well, for canned cheese, it's not bad. For canned cheese. I'm trying to look up at the camera. I should look up the camera, right? I accidentally sat on my glasses this morning. <laughs> and I bent them a little bit, but I think I'm straightened up pretty good. What do y'all think? They, they look pretty straight to y'all. They look straight to me. Hmm. It's not bad. It's not bad. For canned cheese, not bad. The noodles are a little bit just a little bit overcooked. They're nice and soft. I mean, they're not, I, don't, I guess they're not overcooked, but they're a little more cooked than al dente. Hmm. Would I buy it again? Um, yeah, I would probably buy it again, but not very often. <laughs> One more bite. And then I got something else I want to show you. Oh. Nick got a food bite. I got something else I want to show you. A couple other things I want to show you. I'm going to take the rest of this with me to work. Because I got to make a couple more stops. And I need to get busy. I need to get going. So. Hmm. Mayonnaise is all over my sandwich wrap. That's okay, I guess it's... So let's just wrap this up, put it away. Are y'all ready for Thanksgiving? I know I am. <laughs> I got everything I need for Thanksgiving. I got everything we need. My sister's coming over. She's bringing some food. I then got the turkeys. This year we bought two nine, just under 10 pound turkeys, just under. We normally only cook like a 15 pound turkey for everybody. But everybody's getting older now. The kids are growing up. So of course they're probably gonna eat a little bit more. And whatever's left over, we usually share with them and send it home with them. <clears throat> because what's the sense in having all that food sitting in your refrigerator if you're not gonna finish it off in the next couple days? We don't always finish off all the leftovers because it's always a lot. So we just, everybody divides it up and takes home, you know, a little bit of food for the next day so there was a couple things I wanted to show you that I picked up one of them I picked up at Walmart a couple days ago and it's been oh, excuse me all right hold that burp in girl <laughs> it's been out for a few days I don't really know how long it's been out but I just saw it the other day because like I work three days a week and when I go home, I usually stay home because I take care of both. I don't take care of my parents, so to speak, like bathe them, cook for them, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but they live with me, and a lot of times they have to go to doctor appointments. They need to go shopping or whatever, and that's when I get out with them. But a lot of times I just stay home after work. Or I do my running around and my errands and everything like that on my way to work like I just did today. And uh, so... I was at Walmart the other day, which I think was Wednesday, or was it Monday I got these? I think I got them Monday, because I've been too busy to try. To, I was going to try to do a video, but I've been too busy. This is my old phone, so I don't know how long it's going to allow me to do a video. Um, I had to send off my other phone, my new one, which is not even a year old, uh, to be repaired. Hopefully, I get it back in the next week. I just sent that off just Wednesday. Yeah, so anyway... Beer battered onion ring ruffles, okay? Beer battered onion ring ruffles. Now, I'm sure a lot of y'all have probably seen these in the store already. You may have already tried them. I haven't tried them yet. So I thought, let's get a bag of these and try them. Since I'm having a chicken sandwich, I might have some potato chips to go with it. Well, I don't know if it's because the tater chips are cold or if it's just because they just don't have a smell. But you know when you first open that bag, you get that burp. They call it a burp. It's the, the smell that first comes out. I'm not smelling beer battered onion. I'm not smelling onion, and I'm not smelling beer. So here's a little chip. Let's just try it. Let's give it a try. Okay. Okay. Ruffles, you fooled me. 
the first thing I get is the, uh, like an onion ring. Okay? That's exactly what it tastes like, a fried onion. It reminds me of... I'm not really tasting like a battered onion ring. But I'm tasting that fried onion part. got a good onion flavor to it. I have to say that. I'm not tasting no beer, but you know, when you do a beer batter, you kind of get a little hint of beer in the beer batter. Or maybe not. I, I know I do if I make beer batter. <laughs> Which I rarely ever drink anymore. I don't drink. I haven't drank in years. But, but yeah. Beer battered onion rings. Now, you do get that taste of onion. I'm telling you, the, the onion flavor is there. Like a fried onion. Right. Yeah. Like, there's ways, there's several ways you can fry an onion. You can batter it up and fry it. So, yeah, I have to say, it reminds me kind of an onion ring. It does kind of remind me of an onion ring, but, I don't know. Beer battered. That part, I don't quite get. But I do taste the fried onion part. Um, but, not a big hit for me. So, I have to say, these are okay, but, uh, eh, not really for me. Now, there's something else I have that is a, is a limited, was a limited edition. I got this about three weeks ago. I want to say about three weeks ago. It's, I mean, time flies for me, so it may have been two weeks ago. But anyway, Mountain Dew. Now, y'all know I don't like, I, I don't, Mountain Dew isn't my first choice of drinks, okay? I don't mind it every once in a while, but if it's all I have to drink, then I will drink a Mountain Dew. Sorry about that. There was somebody pulling around me, I thought. So anyway, Mountain Dew. Look at that little totem on there. Isn't that cool? This is a limited edition. I bought two of them, and I'm going to drink one. It's called Maui Burst. It's the it's got the Mountain Dew with a blast of pineapple flavor. Now, if you like pineapple, like I like pineapple, this has sounded interesting to me because I like pineapple. You like pineapple? You might like this. Let's try it and see what it tastes like. I hope I get a nice flavor of pineapple. Excuse me. Got crumbs and stuff in it from the chicken sandwich. All right, so here we go. Ooh, she burnt pretty good there. Oh wow! Right away, I got that pineapple smell. Now I like, I like pineapple. Pineapple upside down cake. <laughs> oh yes, I love pineapple upside down cake. So let's, mmm, I smell pineapple, I smell that citrus smell to it. Let's give it a try. Oh, wow. Wow. No wonder this is a limited edition. It doesn't say on here that it's a limited edition, which I think Mountain Dew should have put that on there, limited edition, because people are going to be out looking for this. Once they see the video. Maui Burst. It's Mountain Dew with a blast of pineapple flavor. I can taste that pineapple right off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like this. Oh, yeah. If Mountain Dew, if you was to put this on the shelf, you would sell it like crazy. I would buy probably a case of it and put it away and drink it every once in a while. Because I taste that pineapple first. I'm getting that pineapple taste first, and then I'm tasting that Mountain Dew. But I don't taste that Mountain Dew as strong as I do the pineapple, and I love that. I love that pineapple flavor. That's a great drink. I like that. Somebody's calling me, so hopefully I'm still recording because, like I said, this phone is an old phone, and uh, yeah. I have been getting a lot of spam callers. It's ridiculous. Do y'all get them every day? I get them 10, 20 times a day. Starts 8 o'clock in the morning until daylight the next day, it seems like. It just goes on and on until daylight the next day. 
from daylight to dark is what I meant to say. Mountain Dew. Look at that little, like I said, look at that totem on there. Isn't that just the cutest thing? I love that design. That is so cute. Look at that. Mountain Dew. Well, it's been over 15 minutes now. I think I've rambled enough. I've got to make a couple more stops before I head to work. So, I hope y'all had a great week. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And if I don't get to make another video before Thanksgiving, I hope y'all have a wonderful Thanksgiving and enjoy your family while you've got them around, okay? Enjoy them. Give everybody a hug. Tell them you love them. Because you never know. That might be the last time you see them. You never know. And I don't mean that to make anybody feel bad. But, uh, yeah. So, keep an eye out for my next video because you never know what I'm going to come up with and neither do I. So, be sure and hit that subscribe button, that like button, and hit that notification bell while you're at it so that you get notified the next time I make one. And I will again, I will, again, I will talk to y'all again later. Bye, y'all. Have a great Friday and a great weekend.